Is there a queue to get in? Oh, bloody hell, there is. I should have come here earlier. There's a queue to get. There's a queue to get into this bloody event. I should have been here ever since. Well, hello and welcome back. Okay, I feel like it's been a little bit of a while. I always say that when I haven't, um, when the video before this one is something completely different and it was episode nine of what everyone's wearing in New York. I thought I should do a video all about the things that I would pick for this season, like spring-ish. Okay, it's not officially spring yet, but I feel like it sort of is, hello by the way, I think I, did I say hello? I feel like it's sort of there or getting there, even, even if it's not officially said that it is. What would Karen pick for the spring season from online, out on the high street, and then while I'm out on the high street, maybe a vintage slash thrift shop, right? So three distinct categories for spring. First part is online. Now I went onto Farfetch, which is currently, I think one of my favorite places at the moment to be shopping online. This part of the video is in partnership with Farfetch. Um, I've been working with them now for, I think it was like the tail end-ish of last year. And I've always been a customer of theirs way before that. So I love that they have like, it's like a web in a way, because they're like your sort of portal to get access to all those different international boutiques. So when you order something, it could be coming from England, and you'll notice it when you get the package. It could be coming from, I don't know, Italy. And you know, you notice like the when the package arrives, you see, isn't it from an Italian boutique? So I picked out three things. They gave me a credit and I picked out three things what I have my eye on for spring. And the first one is this dress. Now it is by, Stand back in amazement, it is by Ganny. Um, I first saw this dress actually at the Ganny shop weeks and weeks ago, and I looked at it, it was still very cold at that time. I looked at the dress and I was like, God, that's lovely. And then I just left. I went onto the Farfetch site, they have it, they had it in, in my size, and I was that was it, I was sold. So I knew that this was the first thing I had to pick. I've really been into um, sky blue, uh, powder blue this shade at the moment let me show you the details on it it has this beautiful just like you know soft romantic kind of ruffle collar here uh, the sleeves are just so dreamy they're beautiful and it's very food baby friendly obviously because look I mean there is this it just cuts straight down but look at that it's just it's stunning and I love it's got all these like soft tiny pleats all over it it's beautiful it feels like the sort of um, thing that I would find in a, like, I'm, dare I say it, but yeah, in a vintage shop. That's what this faded sort of floral painting like uh, effect on it. It's such a beautiful cut. It's just the color and the sleeve. That, it's really, really pretty. I really love this. And then the second thing that I got from Farfetch, da -da 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 -da, speaking of blues, was this beaded, I know, again, stand back in amazement, beaded bag. Um, it is by Stowed. So they had this on the site. Like I said, I've been gravitating to blues, this particular shade for this season. So for me, I know that this is a color that I'm going to be wearing for spring and probably in the summer as well. So this is um, it close up so you can see. I love the size of it. It's just big enough to hold my pieces, everything that I would normally carry. I've already actually worn this bag. I've worn this outfit out, I'll insert pictures. Um, and it's small enough to be that compact, you know, that small girl vibe that I want in a bag. So it's just enough, boom. It sits perfectly on the shoulder, but the strap is still short enough for that sort of um, retro kind of vibe to width of the strap as well. And that's also beaded. It's just so pretty. So I really like it. It's so nice. Do you have a comb? <laughs> oh my God, your hair! I need a haircut. Oh. <laughs> oh my, you do realize that that, this is gonna, that moment is gonna be forever. It's it's forever gonna it's gonna be there forever. I'm not editing that part out. I feel like Frankenstein. Yeah, well that's how they're gonna remember you. Sorry, sorry, but look at his hair. Who's his <laughs> bigger? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this bag, what can I say? I love it. 
very happy, very, very pleased about these two pieces. I love the idea of actually wearing this together, but obviously wear them separately. It's like a little bit warmer and spring because it's literally, we can smell it. It's so close. And the last piece that I picked up is actually on my feet. <sighs> YouTube yoga. I got these. <laughs> these are Converse, they're called the High Hike. Now I'll show you, I'll insert pictures so you can see how they look. Look at the back, look at the back bit. Look at that star, the Converse, hold on, wait, this way. The Converse star, see there, that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you properly in the cutaway. But the story behind these, and thank God they were on the Farfetch site. Um, I saw them, I Instagrammed on my stories a couple of weeks or so ago. I saw them in the Converse window. I was going down Broadway in New York. Sorry, I know I'm digressing, but this is important. They're rare, you can't find these bloody shoes. And a lot of you DM'd me saying, I want those too, I can't find them, I love those, those are cool. The SA couldn't find, said that they're sold out. I ran around to all the different Converse's, they told me they looked at the system. Long story short, these are sold out. If you can get lucky and find a pair, grab them, but I got them from Farfetch and they still have sizes, quite a few, at least at the time of recording this video, they had quite a few sizes left in the black, the white, for the men's section as well, because Converse is a universal, is a unisex shoe. You can literally shop on both the men and the women for the exact same shoe. So you're welcome. And I do have a code for you as well. It's 10% off anything on the website and that includes sale items as well. The code is available from uh, the date of this video going live for 12 days. Is it 12 or 14? I think it's 12. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen when the date of this ends for the code. It's a perfect opportunity to grab yourself something if you have been thinking about anything. Um, but for me, the fact that they had these on the website, I was just, I was stoked. This is my first uh, platform version of a Converse. I've always just worn like the high tops, the flats, but they often feel like you're walking barefoot or walking on the ground because they're so flat. These are ridiculously comfortable. Because of that platform bit, that platform part, there's like a there's like a bounce to them and they have like this, it's like your foot is on a bed. But I'm telling you, they are extremely comfortable. And because they are, because I like, and I wanted to get them in the white because I think it's perfect for the spring season. Um, I've always told you that white to me is a neutral. Probably will pick up the black in these as well because I love the black of these just as much as I do the white and it's for the same reasons, it will go with everything in my wardrobe. But this is them close up so you can see properly. They've got that kind of uh, tractor like, um, almost like tooth lug sole to them on the sides. It's like it's narrow here and then it kind of widens out at the bottom. But obviously the classic all-star on the side. These are just fantastic. So yeah, I definitely am gonna get these in the black as well. These are very, very difficult to find. And if you can grab your size, get them because the comfort level, if you are a high top Converse or just a Converse type of person, it's so badass in my opinion. But yeah, Farfetch, they have them. No surprise, a lot of things on there um, you won't find anywhere else and they have them, which is great. And you will be lucky enough to just grab a pair or grab anything that you've seen that I've had. The dress, the bag, and then these as well. So very pleased. So like I said to you before, the code is on the screen. It is FFKaren10. I'll leave a link for you down below to all these pieces that I'm wearing, plus any other pieces that I had my eye on, all down below. And it is 10% off anything on the Farfetch website, including sale items. Um, but I picked everything that was new in for the spring because I'm looking, I'm actively looking for just a couple of pieces here and there. I remember last year they used to do it for four days. Now the code is lasting for a little bit longer and they're doing it for like a good almost two week period, which is a great amount of time. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take you with me out there. The weather looks a bit crappy, so I might get changed, we'll see. We'll see what would Karen pick for this season, looking into spring. What am I going after? All right, hold on. Okay, so, ooh, a closet tour, which will be coming eventually, once I've sorted out the other side. So, now as promised, I'm gonna take you out to um, the high street. Um, I'll pick one shop, maybe two, 
and then I'll also pick a thrift slash consignment shop. I'm thinking housing works because that's a good one and they're all over the city. I'm off. Oh, I changed the dress because it's supposed to rain later and it's a light colored blue dress. Love it, but I don't want to wear it when it's supposed to rain. Um, and I'm carrying my stowed bag and what else? Majuri earrings and oh, let me just, I'm going to go around this way. And uh, the boots are Zara. Um, I wanted to wear the Converse's as well because they are, like I said, they're so comfortable. But if it's going to rain, I just don't feel like wearing them because they're white. Anyway, that is it. I'll talk to you a lot later, which is why I need the black ones. All right. Okay, so we are in the city, obviously. So let's see what we can find in terms of spring from those shopping categories. Over. I'm going to do I'm going to do like a voiceover for when I go in and put text over later because there's music playing in the stores and um, I'll get copyright if I include that in the video. Oh how good are these Prada loafers? They only look like something straight out of Cuba though. They look amazing. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Here we are, under the stories. Let's see what I would pick. What would Karen pick? from End of the Stories. I have to say, first off, I've just walked in, but I'm really liking these angular sort of glasses. They, they might be a bit of a ceiling edge and I feel like glasses a bit like these are a really really nice way to just add something a little bit more updated to your sunglasses. Yeah, I really like these. So I think that bags in general, the industry is having a return to the 90s vibes, um, especially Prada with their nylon and this, which is, I mean I was literally at the, the Prada window a moment ago, but something like this I would absolutely pick up during the springtime um, from my wardrobe but you don't necessarily have to go with black I mean obviously that's what they're showing here but I don't see why not but just the shape alone thumbs up Perfect to wear open over jeans.
mango. And I'll show you what I would pick out for spring. I would pick if I was in those stores myself which I was um, I mean I literally case in point I left with those glasses the angular glasses those are fantastic and a basic cat eye those Celine's are very like sort of um, what I want to call statement but it's nice to have something that's a bit more kind of everyday ish so I hope you got some ideas when um, you know I took you to and other stories and to mango so right now um, like I said, I'm going to bring you to Housing Works and um, yeah, we'll see what it's like. Oh, oh, am I out of focus? Am I out of focus? I feel like I'm out of focus a little bit. So I just stopped this one then for my next episode, episode 10 of what people are wearing in New York. Her coat was so good. All right, hold on. Housing Works is next. Housing works. All right, so um, I love coming into this one. It's in Crosby, Crosby Street. There's loads of them all over the city, but let's see what they've got for spring. I cannot believe my luck. I just went up to Housing Works. It's closed right now, which it normally isn't because it's only four o'clock, but they told me they're closed because they're opening at five, which is an hour from now because they're having a special event um, showing vintage stuff. They're filling the place with vintage. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. Anyway, I'm so excited. All right, all right, uh, I'll be back in an hour. All right, I'm back. I'm ready to head to this event. Is there a queue? Is there a queue to get in? Oh, bloody hell, there is. I should have come here earlier. There's a queue to get, there's a queue to get into this bloody event. I should have been here ever since. So at this point, literally, I was like beside myself. I couldn't even be bothered to put graphics on the screen to tell you about anything. I was just looking around, trying to get things as quickly as I could because everyone else was picking out things really quick. I saw that crochet uh, sleeveless top. I thought that looked perfect to layer over shirts. So I picked that out. Now here, I'm just going through, just seeing what catches my eye. I saw this sparkly long maxi dress. Uh, I'm not sure because grey usually doesn't suit my skin tone, but I thought it would look good with like combat. Um, I liked all these retro acid wash denim, very 90s throwback like this dress that was really cool. Um, they had a rack of coats. I know I shouldn't have been looking at them, and but I saw this one and wow, what can I say? This just took my breath away. The embroidery, the navy, the long cut of it. I just, wow, just wow. Um, yeah, I'm even now looking back at this as I'm speaking this voiceover, looking at this footage, I'm thinking the same thing. Um, it's just looked so pretty. I know, I know what you're thinking. If you subscribe to my channel, you know what I'm thinking, but look at that. Pastel, um, outerwear. Perfect. I loved all these suede together. Really good idea for spring. Same with this suede skirt. 
leather trousers olive green perfect color year rounder this is a good piece to keep in your closet um the this is me in the fitting room now these are the pieces that i was thinking of uh, i loved this crochet the sleeveless piece but i'm not sure about the square design on it for like a, a target or something um but this gray dress i couldn't let it go i was still thinking about it to wear with boots and of course this statement coat this I loved. And here's the trousers, the leather, and then a suede pair behind. And then after that is this summer dress I thought that might look good with like flip-flops in the height of summer. So here is me trying on the coat. <laughs> my reaction. I put this on Instagram, by the way, on my stories, and you lot were chiming in. I was doing like polls, like, yes, no, should I get it? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll leave my Instagram on the screen for you. But so if you follow me, you already know about this moment. But yeah, I like the length of it. That's what she said. Um, the navy blue, the sleeves, ugh, all of it. It was a bit tight around the hips, but uh, everything else on it works. And I actually do own a couple of coats already, which are that same fit. And I just wear them with the purpose of always staying open. That's the kind of, it's almost like a jacket effect that's never meant to close. But yeah, I love this. Next up is this uh, sleeveless crochet piece, very 70s retro. I love this so much. I'm actually looking for something exactly like this. But that square design front and back, I just couldn't, I don't know. I wish it was like just like blocks of uh, squares all over it, little squares versus one big, big giant one in the front and the back. I think that's what put me off it. But the coat, well, what can I say? The coat, I, yeah, this is good for spring. Laid over a long slip dress, slip dresses. Oh, I can see it. I can actually see it now. So when I left, I was looking at the rail just outside of the fitting room. A good tip. You never know what's going to be out there from people who have tried things on. You may still see a little bargain there. But I love popping into housing works. Um, the money goes to a good cause. And uh, yeah, hope that helped. Okay, I just left. You saw what happened, you saw about the coat, and obviously I left on the screen for you some ideas on what I think you should be looking at, or what I was looking at um, for spring. Also, the thing is with thrift shops, it's a bit different. You can't necessarily plan to get what you're thinking of getting, because sometimes you th see things that is not even maybe for that season, but it's so amazing, it's such a good find, because they're one-offs, right? So it's worth getting if the price is good enough as well, which is the advantage as well for thrift shops. So. Um, yeah, it's still going on. I hope that this helped you going to End of the Stories first, then Mango. Obviously far fetched in the very beginning. Anyway, I'm really excited for spring, even though, look, I can't know if you can tell. Look at the streets. It's as dark as crap out there, right? Who cares? Hope that this helped you a little bit to help you with finding ideas about what to get during the spring time. It's just a little bit of a touch of it. I didn't go too much in depth. Um, do not forget the Farfetch code, and, and they rarely have codes for that amount of time, so that's oh, really good to know. So I left with two pairs of sunglasses and that amazing coat. Ren is going to kill me. Give this a like if it's helping you just a little bit with some what's going on in the shops and online at the moment for spring and kind of things that I would be looking at for spring as well. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below and uh, yeah, I will see you next week Friday. <laughs> Bye, now I've got to get home. <laughs>